Hello everyone and welcome to WordPress User TV. In today's video, we'll be talking about five reasons why you need to use a page builder. So let's start off with number one. Now a page builder gives you the flexibility of creating advanced layouts. So out of the box, WordPress comes with a default uh, theme, but this theme has a lot of limitations. You can just put your basic text, your basic um, images and videos, but you can't really have them in the structure that you want. So you're stuck with one layout, which you need to be a programmer in order for you to really customize it and make it look or design it the way you want it. So page builders help you actually create layouts that you can use. So let me show you quickly how you can create a layout fast using a page builder called Divi, because that's the one uh, I choose to use and I find it very, very easy to use. All right, so let me show you. So I'm over here in my um, website and I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to pages and add a brand new page. So I'm gonna click on add new. So let's call this PG test for, or PB test for page builder test. So all I have to do because I have Divi already installed on this, I'm gonna click on use the Divi builder and I'm gonna go straight to the visual builder. So let's say my page needs to have a large hero image and in that large hero image, we need to have some text that describes what that page is about. Okay, so it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here Click this plus button here for our column structure. And for this, we need one column. And in that column, we're gonna need some text. Okay, so I'm just typed my text in here. Right, so this box that we have here is for your text settings. So all I have to do is to come over here and copy my text. Now, I'm using lorem ipsum because this is just dummy text, but you can use a text that, um, uh, relate to whatever website you're building. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it in here and the beauty of this is as I paste it here you can see it showing right here in real time. Okay, so you can actually see what you're designing. Okay, so next I'm gonna come over here to design, click on text and here's the thing. I can actually adjust my size, make it nice and big. Uh, text font, I can change that to any font that I want. So I'm just gonna choose um, comforter for this. So that's my text I'm gonna use and I'm also gonna make sure that it's centered to just to make it look nice on my background. Okay, so now that I've set up my, set my uh, text size, this is looking all good, I can make it bold as well. Right, so I need the description text. So to do that, I just need to save this, come back here, and all I have to do is either duplicate this, so to duplicate it, I'm just gonna click this duplicate button. Now the reason why I'm using this is because it makes it easier for me to uh, make my adjustments fast. So I'm gonna click this module settings to come in here. Again, I'm gonna come back here to my lorem text. I'm gonna copy this text here and paste it in this box. But what you'll find is once I've pasted this text, it's way too big because it has taken um, the settings of my header. So all I have to do is to come over here to design, click text. Now I just need to make sure I uncheck where it says bold and then I'm gonna come here, make it smaller like that. So already you can see it's very easy for me to customize this. Now here on the line height, I'm just going to increase this so I can read it easier. And that's it. That's how I've entered my text that fast. Now here's the thing, because I promised to show you that I need to have a hero image in the background. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna save this for now. Click this gear icon here for our section. Click on background. And here we can add a solid background color if you want, like that. But we don't wanna add a color, we need to add an image. So I'm gonna click this third tab here. Now, when I mentioned that you can create advanced layouts, I meant that you can actually do a lot of things here. Now let me show you one thing quickly here. Now this second tab here allows us to add gradients. So if I come over here straight away, you can see we have a gradient and you can change you know, the angle of the gradient, look. So this is where you can you know, bring out the creativity in you. So here I'm gonna click this third icon because we need to add an image. I'm gonna click this plus button here. Now I have a lot of images here that I could use. So let me just choose, um, let's say this image right here, the first one. 
Okay, I'm gonna click upload an image and straight away, just like that, my image is already added to my background and this is how fast you can actually create your pages. Now, one more thing, we can see that our text is not easy to read on this background, so let's turn it to white. Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna save this, come back here over to my text, click this gear icon to get into the settings, click design. So if you need to make any changes to your uh, text or any design element, you have to make sure you're in the design tab. I'm going to click this text um, and change this color to light. Boom. Just like that, I've changed my color to white. I can make it even bold if I want to. And if you want to customize the color and let's say you want to add a specific color, all you have to do is to come over here. You can change this to yellow or any color that you want. So let's keep it white. Okay, save. Let's go to our heading text. Again, click this gear icon, click the design tab, click text, change that to from dark to light. And straight away, we've added our image and we've also added our text. Now, obviously it's not looking right. We need to add some breathing space to the top and the bottom, okay? Now, let's see how we can do that. So here, all you have to do is to put your mouse over here close to the line and just drag. That's all you need to do. And then on the top here, same thing. All you have to do is to drag. Now you can see I'm positioning my image the way I want to position it. And this is fantastic. You couldn't do this on a out of the box WordPress install. Now let's do one more thing. I'm gonna add another section and I'm gonna add some text in it. Okay, so to do that, I just move my mouse around my, my design area, click this plus button here, uh, click on regular section. And in that section, we're going to have three columns. Now, we're going to do something different here. In these columns, we're going to have what are known as blurbs. And I will show you, in, in, instead of me describing what a blurb is, let me show you what it does. So I'm going to click this plus button here. So we have the opportunity here to add our title and our text. So you can see as I'm pasting in my text, it shows me where my title is. So here, I'm going to copy a bit of this text and use this text as my title for this area here. Now, uh, I need to add an icon to this. So to do that, we can see here we have an, uh, an, an option for the icon. So I'm gonna come here, use icon, yes. Now I can choose all my icons. Now you can see all my design elements are here for me to use. So I'm gonna choose my icon, uh, let's choose this camera for my first icon. Okay, so if we need to add a background to this, we can actually add a background to that, but we're not gonna go advanced, we're not gonna go do advanced designs for this. So let's come over here to the design tab, click image and icon. Now you can change this icon to make it a specific color. Okay, so if I choose this yellow, okay, maybe that's what I wanna do. And um, we can come over here to the text, we can center the text, we can actually choose um, our header text. Again, we can center this. In fact, it's all centered. Now we can change the size. We can see here as I'm uh, increasing this, it's increasing my, my size. Now, just for a bit of consistency here, let's use the same font we used here on the top. So I'm gonna click default and choose my font, which is comforter. Excellent. Okay, let's make it a bit bold. So just to give it a bit of presence. And then what we need to do is to come over here to our body text, the same thing. We're gonna come over here, choose our font, and we're gonna make it slightly bigger. Right, I think 16 will do. Okay, that's looking good. So you can see already, I'm starting to go into the actual designs and it's very easy for me to design it. Okay, so I'm gonna say for now. So what I'm gonna do is, this section is white. I need to change that color to make it something a bit more vibrant. Okay, so I'm, all I have to do is to click this gear icon, click on background, and now I can add my background color. I'm gonna choose orange for this. And uh, this orange works with, um, this sunset here, so that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now we have a challenge here. Our text is not easy to read on this orange background. So how do we fix that? And again, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to go back in here into our gear icon, click the design tab, and then we need to click image and icon, change this to white. And if the icon is too big, all we have to do is to come over here to use icon font size, and we can reduce that, just like that. Okay, so maybe 60, okay, maybe 55, okay? Excellent, so we can come over here to our text, change it from dark to light, and straight away our text has been changed. Okay, save. 
So you can see how fast it is to, uh, to do this. So now the next or the second option or the second reason why you need to use page builders is because you can make updates super fast. So let me show you how. So let's say here we need to add these, um, uh, these, uh, uh, this text and this icon onto these two columns. It's very simple. All I have to do is to hit Command C to copy, come over here, Command V. Another Command V. Boom. Done. Okay. And let's say you're working on a client's website and they want you to change the text or the icons. Again, this is a matter of seconds. I can come into here, click on this gear icon, go to my design tab, click on image and icon. Oh, in fact, we need to go into content, image and icon. And then this is where you need to choose your icon. So let's say they want a different icon and they want this folder icon. Boom. Straight away, just like that. Save. I can come into here, click my gear icon, and let's change that icon. And uh, for this one, let's choose... Um, okay, let's choose this globe. Like that. Boom. Done. So that's my changes. Straight away, done. So once you're done with that, all you have to do is to save the page and exit the Visual Builder. So again, before I exit the Visual Builder, if you put your mouse over here, you can add some breathing space there. Okay, and the bottom as well. And this is visual, so you can actually see what you're actually changing. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna save this page. And then I am going to exit the Visual Builder by clicking this button here. Boom, done. So this is my page, done. So if this was a business website, you have your hero image, which describes what your company does. And then on the bottom, you have those three chunks of uh, content which describes your services. And I've done this in less than 10 minutes. So this is the beauty of using a page builder. Now, before I move on to the next item or the next reason why you need to use page builders, let me talk about the course that I have. So I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. Now, Divi Blueprint is a course which teaches you pretty much everything that you need to know about Divi. And Divi is the page builder that I'm actually showing you right now. So it shows you everything that you need to know from even if you're a beginner, okay? Now this course, there's two ways to get them at a very good discount. So first of all, I have a 70% discount if you buy it right now using my, affiliate, uh, using my link. Secondly, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, all you have to do is to drop me an email and I will give you access to the full course absolutely free. Okay, so all you have to do is to buy the Divi using my affiliate link and I'll give you that course absolutely free. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Now the challenge of building websites is learning CSS, HTML and to a degree uh, PHP and JavaScript. Okay, and this is why a lot of people really step back when it comes to designing websites. Now, with page builders, you don't have to learn any, uh, any of these languages, okay? And by the way, these are the languages that power websites on the internet. So you don't have to learn this. In fact, I don't have a good uh, knowledge on um, PHP and JavaScript. So I, this is how I design my own websites and this is how I've been designing websites for my uh, design agency. So you can actually start up right now and start designing websites for, um, for companies or uh, work as a freelance designer using this, the same uh, techniques that I'm showing you right now. You can actually build these websites really, really fast without the need of CSS, PHP, and HTML. Okay, so let's move on to the fourth reason, and this is uh, the ability to design aesthetic designs. So if you go to, say, for example, apple.com, and you see that layout, that layout can be achieved in, in less than 20 minutes or even 10 minutes. Right. I even uh, designed, I even have a tutorial on how I built the layout of the Apple landing page. In fact, I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the show notes below. So that's how you can, that's how easily you can build these aesthetic designs using page builders. So that's the fourth reason why you want to uh, do that. Now, the fifth reason is responsive websites out of the box. Now, this is one of the features that I really, really like. You can, des you can design your page and make it and adjust the sizes based on which device it's being used on. Now, instead of me trying to explain this, let me show you how it's done. So if I come over here to my page, uh, for me to be able to, uh, to adjust all my settings here, I need to enable the Visual Builder. 
So I'm going to click on Enable Visual Builder. And then I'm going to come over here. So let's say my text here needs to be different on different devices. All I have to do is to click on this gear icon right here, come over here to Design, and then I am going to click on Text. Right, so here the size is 36. In fact, let me bump this up a bit, okay? Make it super massive. Right, so that's how it needs to look on my desktop. So to make our adjustments for the responsive designs, you need to click this icon right here, this, this uh, mobile device icon. If I click that, it has now these three uh, options for me. It has tablet and smartphone. If I click on tablet, the page readjusts and shows me what this would look like if this was being viewed on, viewed on a tablet. So if I adjust now, my size, this is the size that will apply on the tablet, okay? We can do the same on the smartphone, so I'm gonna click the smartphone um, tab, and here again, I don't like the way it's looking right now, so I'm gonna reduce that size. So you can see here as I'm reducing it, I can get it precisely to how I want it, okay? And then if I scroll all the way down here, I can see here that everything has been uh, reconfigured to look beautiful on the mobile device. So what I would actually do here is, uh, once I have all this in place, I can just save, and then I'm back here, okay? Now to make sure that everything is looking fine, you click this gear icon here, the expand settings uh, button, and then Again, here we have the, uh, the three different tabs. So you can test this every time you design your page. So I'm gonna click on tablet view. And because I've made those adjustments, you can see the size has been made a bit smaller. If I click the next tab, again, you can see that all this is, has been uh, done the, you know, the way I want it. Now you can apply this to all sorts of stuff. You can actually say the people that visit your site on a tablet can see a different background or they can see a different item altogether. So let's say uh, when someone visits your page using a smartphone, you can show a video, but not on the desktop view. So the, the, um, the options are endless. So these are my reasons why you should use a page builder. Now, if you have any more reasons, please share them in the comments box below. So uh, like I mentioned earlier on, if you'd like to uh, learn how to design websites using Divi and WordPress, I have courses that I have um, offers on. All the information you need is in the show notes below. So this, kind of, so this does it for um, our episode today. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe and hit the, the bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release a new video because I, uh, try my best to do three or four videos a week so you can get tutorials similar to what you're seeing today when you subscribe. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, take care and keep designing.